Okay. So we have a equals to negative a half. Therefore, fx should equals to negative a half x plus one q plus two. Okay. okay. What we have done is solving inequalities and then solve for fine equations. Okay. Question number three. Okay, for question number three, uh, just find one possible values. Okay, let's say here is the turning point at two, zero. Then we have one x-intercept passes through negative one, zero. So what I can do is y equals to a. Okay, you always start to write this coefficient a here because that means the dilation. Then I can have x plus y as a factor because the touch goes through this negative one, zero. Then I must have x minus 2 as a factor, but I need an even number of that factor because that become a turning point. So let's suppose that's a quadratic. Okay, that's power of 2, not like, uh, let's suppose that's a cubic. So you have x minus 2 to the power of 2. Then I need to work out the value of a, so I need to substitute 3, 2 in. So 2 will equal to a, 3 plus 1, and 3 minus 2 squared. So that will give you 1, so a equals 2 for a. Then a equals 2, a half. Then y equals to a half, x plus 1, um, no squared here, and x minus 2 squared. Okay, so all the questions, just don't forget this a. Okay, this a is very important. This a is very important. Okay, question number four. A cubic function f has rule fx equals to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Find f0 equals to 1, f1 equals to 4, f2 equals to 17, and f negative 1 equals to 2. So first of all, I can know the d equals to 1 because that's the y-intercept and your d value must be 1. And let's substitute everything in. Uh, y x equals to 1, y equals to 4. So 4 equals to a plus b plus c plus 1. 1 is 2, it's got 17. So 17 equals to 8a plus 4b plus 2c plus 1. Okay, so I have negative 1 equals to 2. So 2 gives you negative a plus b minus c plus 1. Okay, so let's simplify that a little bit. So this one will give you a plus b plus c equals to 3. Okay, if you can subtract that one and divide that by 2, you will have 4a plus 2b plus c equals to 16 divided by 2 is 8. And for this one, you have minus a plus b minus c equals to 1. Okay, let's say that's equation number one, equation number two, and equation number three. Okay, have a look at equation one and equation three. So if you add them, if you add them, a and a just disappear, and b become 2b, and c and c just become zero. So three plus one is four. So b equals to four. Okay, when b equals to four. Okay, b equals to four. Then let's solve for the rest. So for the first equation, you have a plus c equals to minus one. And if you have b equals to four here, it will be two, four a plus c equals two. Okay, that's four, that will give you eight. Okay, eight minus eight is a zero. And then if you subtract between that, let's say that's equation number four, that's equation number five, if you subtract number 5 and number 4, you have 3a equals to 1, and a equals to a third. Then c will be equals to minus 1 minus a. c equals to minus 1 minus a third. c equals to 4 on 3.
Uh, minus four and three. Yeah. Wait, B. Ah, oh, yes. You should tell me earlier. <laughs> okay, if B is two, what will happen? So if B is two, that is one. And that is two is four. So 4a plus c equals to 4. And if you subtract that, that equals to 3. And then a is 1. Then if a is 1, that is 1 minus a. So it is 1 minus 1. And c will be 0. Okay, that looks better. Let's check. So fx will equal to x cubed plus 2x squared, c just becomes 0, and d is 1. So it's this equation here. Let's try to put 1 in. If I put 1, that's 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. If I put negative 1, that's negative 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 2, which is correct. And if we put 2, that's 8, that's 8, that's 1, 16 plus 1, 17. Okay, that's correct. So we have fx equals to x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1. Read it that way. Okay, last page. Last page is something you haven't really learned, but like you should be able to do them. Okay, I should be able to do them. So I have x squared plus kx plus k equals to zero, and I want to solve the following equations. So if you want to solve for them, okay, if you want to solve for them, what you need to do is First, you need to say discriminant equals to k squared minus 4k. And I need that greater than 0. Okay? To be able to solve for that, you must have discriminant greater than 0. So k squared minus 4k must be greater than 0. Okay? k can be, if you know how to solve for that, you will know that k will belongs to r except. Uh, can be equal to 0 as well, so it's 0 to 4. Okay, k will belong to r except 0 to 4. Using this diagram, so that's 0, that's 4. You need greater or equals to 0, which you need here and here, and you want those values here. Okay, so it's r except 0 to 4. Okay, so what x will equal to? x will equal to minus k plus minus of square root k square minus 4ac over 2. And so that's the answer. Basically, you just assume their numbers and then you apply what kind of thing will happen if discriminant is smaller than 0. Okay, if it's smaller than 0, no solutions. Okay, so if k belongs to 0 to 4, just have no solutions. Uh, it's harder when we have literature equation, literary equations because you need to think about the case. Okay, some equation just can't solve. Okay, especially the even power ones. Okay, the even power like quadratic, quartic, uh, of like polynomials of degree six. Those kind of things will have restrictions on them. Okay, next one. Okay, next one we have x, x, and x. Okay, the highest common term is x. So it's x squared minus 3ax plus 2a squared. And that equals to 0. Okay, let's check about the discriminant in the, the for this quadratic. So it's minus 3a squared minus 4 times 1 times 2a squared. That's 9a squared minus 8a squared and equals to equals to what? Equals to a squared. And that's always greater or equals to zero. Doesn't matter with the a values. Okay, it's always greater or equals to zero. So, okay, what we can do now is, if I want to fully factorize that, okay, if I want to fully factorize that, that's x squared minus three a x plus 3a over 2 squared and subtract 3a over 2 squared. 
Okay, three A over two is together and the whole thing squared. And plus two A squared equals to zero. Okay, so quite long expression. So you have X minus three A over two, the whole thing squared. Okay, that's a minus nine A squared over four plus eight A squared over four. That gives you two A squared, that's a minus. So it's a minus a squared over 4, so it's minus A over 2 squared. Okay, minus A squared over 4, so it's minus A squared. And that equals to 0. Then what we have is X minus 3A over 2 plus A over 2 and X minus 3A over 2 minus A over 2 equals to 0. Or actually what you can do is, from this step, That's completely squared, right? Or from this step, x coefficient is 1, so you have 1 and 1. So 2a squared can give you 2a times a. So that is 2a plus a, and that gives you 3a, but you need negative. So it's a minus 2a and minus a. So that's minus 2a and minus a give you a minus 3a. So, okay, maybe not go completely square, it's harder. You can you can still get the correct answer, but if you do this, will be quicker. So it's x minus two a and x minus one a equals to zero. Then x will equals to zero, or x equals to two a, or x equals to a. But the thing is, okay, the thing is, you can't divide by x at the beginning. Okay, some of you may try to think about the y x on both sides of the equation, but you can't do that. If you do that, you will lose one answer. Okay, you lose x equals to zero, you lose that answer. You, you can't find x equals to zero anymore. So you cannot divide a uh, unknown number on both sides, the polynomials on both sides. Okay, it's not going to work because there's a possibility that that number can become zero. Okay, this one. What's the requirement will be to make that got solution? What's the requirement? What's the, what's the requirement now, A, to make that part got the so got a value? So I want I want to solve this equals to zero. And what requirement now A should have? Positive. Okay, A can cannot be negative. If uh, positive or zero. If A is negative, what will happen? If A is negative, then negative minus a negative number become a plus. So x squared plus y equals to zero not going to work. So first of all, you need to say uh, you have two cases. Okay, two cases. So x can equals to zero. That's case number one when a is smaller than zero. Okay, if your a is smaller than zero, you can only have x equals to zero. That answer. You can't have any answer for the second bracket. Okay. So when a greater or equals to zero, let's say a smaller equals to zero, because if a equals to zero, x cubed equals to zero, you still have x only equals to zero. So let's make the equal sign on this side. Okay, make the equal sign on this side. So when a smaller equals to zero, then when a greater than zero, what you have is x plus square root a, x minus square root a equals to zero. Then x equals to zero or x equals to plus minus square root a. Okay, next one. Next one, we only have x cubed, okay, with the x term. So what we can do is a x cubed equals to b plus c, and then x cubed equals to b plus c over a. Then x must be cube root of b plus c over a. There's no requirement, like it's only a not equals to zero. Okay, the only thing you need is a not equals to zero. 
But there's no requirement because you take a cube root. Okay, cube root, there's no restrictions on your domain. Then A, B, C can be any number. Okay, B plus C over A, and you take the cube root of it. Okay, example E. Okay, example E. Okay, what you have is x to the power 4 minus x to c to the power 4 equals to 0. So what x equals to? Tell me directly. C? Any other numbers? Minus c. Okay, you need 2. So x to the power 4 will equals to c to the power 4. But when you want to take a root, like fourth root, you need to have plus of minus of c to c to the power 4. Then x will equals to plus minus c. Not only c, you have plus minus c. Okay, do not lose one value. Okay, question F. Okay, you have a x to the power of 1 on 5 equals to b. Then x to the power of 1 on 5 equals to b over a. So you want to solve for x. So I can make a power of 5 on both sides. Then your left hand side only leave with x. And the right hand side will be b to the power of 5 over a to the power of 5. You just you want to make a single x, okay? So how you can make a x to the power of one? I will take the fifth, uh, make a power of five on both sides, and then I'll have x equals to b to the power of five over a to the power of five. Okay, example two is the last um, question here. So the diagram shows part of the graph of a polynomial function. Okay, you have intercept at B0 and A0. This is actually a question from year 11 textbook. Okay, tell me we, what is a possible equation for this, for this graph. Okay, have a try of this and tell me a possible equation for that. At least half of the class making mistakes in my year 11 class last year. And I want to see if you can do it now. Okay, that's the graph. And I want to choose one of this equation for me. Okay, A, B, C, D, or E. C, C, I give you one minute to think about when we um, have uh, 150, I will start to ask you, okay? Everyone try this one. It's not that easy as you think. Yeah, who think it's C? One, two, three, four. Okay, you think it's C? Who think it's D? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, who think it's E? Do you have that twice? <laughs> yeah, they're the same, are they? Like, no, they're not the same. Um, yeah, they look the same. Okay, so you have that for C and E, right? Okay. Let me think about, let me ask you one question. What, the person who choose C and E, why that should be an X plus B? Why that should be an X plus B? Like, like what makes you to think that's a plus? Why, why that one is a minus, but this one is a plus? 
Just, just listen to this question. Why this is a minus, but this is a plus? Why here is a minus, here is a plus? Like, what do you, what, why, like, I haven't really said it's wrong, but like, why they're different? Like, what makes you to choose they're different? If we, like, let's say, if we choose part C, okay, let's, if, let's say, we have Y equals to this. Let's solve for x intercept. Okay, let's solve for x intercept. When y equals to 0. Minus x plus b squared x minus a equals to 0. What x will be? x equals to minus b or x equals to a. Do I have the same x intercept? Do I find that? Is that the same x intercept? B is just B, okay? B is negative number, but it's still B, okay? So it doesn't really matter if it's on the negative side or positive side. That's just a value. Do not think about the sign. It's always X subtract the X intercept. Okay, it's always X subtract the X intercept. So to look at this question, what I will really think about will be, okay, y equals to, okay, I have my first x intercept is b. So I will do x minus b. Doesn't matter that number is positive or negative. I always subtract my x intercept, okay? I always subtract the x intercept. Doesn't matter it's positive or negative. But I have a turning point here, so I must have a square here. Okay, the second intercept is at A. So I have X minus A for sure. Okay? Uh, because it starts from the bottom right. Okay, always start from the right, but like this one starts from the bottom, so it's a negative graph. So what I will do is put a negative sign in front. Like to say it's a negative, it can be negative one, can be negative two, can be any negative number, but I don't know yet. I can put a negative sign in front. But there's no same answer in the options, okay? In the options, there's no similar answers. So what I can do is put the negative one in this bracket. And that is becomes A minus X. That is the answer D. Okay, the answer should be D. Okay, the answer should be D. Okay, make sense? Now, do not make mistake again. Okay, you are making the same mistake compared to yes. <laughs> that's B here, A here, that's the two values. Okay, that's just two numbers. Do not think about positive or negative. Because when you X subtract the negative number, you already have a plus sign here. It's already an X plus a positive number here when you write this representation. Then I just have X minus my X in the set. Do not think about minus or plus. Okay? I'll write my equation like that.